three first preseason game under your belt. How did it feel to get a win on Friday night? Um, it felt good. I know from a, a rookie standpoint, it was kind of a shocker just to be out there, especially with people who've been doing it for years. It was kind of like you're in shock. But, I mean, it's a good feeling to get it out the way that first you know, preseason game, and it was definitely a, a good win at home. We've been hearing people talk about your defense, you know, since draft day and throughout your college career. Uh, what was it like to be able to play the entire fourth quarter and also yeah. hold Washington to eight fourth yeah. quarter points? Around the yeah, yeah. Um, definitely. You know, at this level, just to be in, you know, fourth quarter with, you know. That, that's a little margin of error that we had. You know, the points are close just to be in, playing defense against these girls who've been doing it for years. It's a good feeling just to kind of put, you know, my skills to the test. But definitely at this level, it, you know, you need defense, but you definitely need to be, you know, effective on offense just as well. How's the transition been from college to the WNBA and playing right after your season? Just yeah, I will say, you know, playing for Don, it has made it, a hundred times easier. I will say that I definitely think sometimes the coach just definitely matters. I see a lot of similarities between them. They're they're good friends, so definitely drills and you know defensive habits, they're the same. So I think that definitely helped me a lot and it wasn't as hard, but it's still, you know, challenging, especially mentally. With that next preseason game, the final one coming up for you, what are you most looking forward to that and what are you hoping to get out of it? Um, just really embracing every moment. Um, you know, every time I step on the court, just embracing, you know, the atmosphere, especially this one coming up, just seeing, you know, how many tickets are being sold, especially for a women's game and coming out of college, being able to be blessed with this, you know, circumstance. So really just taking it one moment at a time. What does it mean to have a game like that on a platform in Canada? Um, definitely, especially being, you know, my second uh, WNBA game and then seeing all the stigmas that come around it and just being able to be, you know, in this uh, facility, this um, brand, this company, and then go to a WNBA game and then be loved by all these fans and stuff, like, that's amazing. And it just makes me think about a lot of the stigma that comes behind it and what people say. What was it like playing in front of Flinx fans for the first time? They're loud. They definitely, you definitely hear them. You're taking the ball out. They know your name. They know where you're from. They're always cheering you on no matter what. So it's definitely positive vibes no matter what. How do you guys, how do you stay focused on not worrying about the depth chart or making the roster but just staying in the moment and keeping it day by day? Um, I think definitely, you know, if you're, you feel like you're having a slow day, you just kind of go back to, you know, why do they want me here? How did I even get here? So you really just go back to your purpose. You got to know your purpose. You're having a slow day. You still got to realize, you know, they seen the, the best you. That's why you're here. So, I mean, you kind of got to turn the page. That's what it takes to be on this level and be able to focus and what would you say about your rookie class, the way you guys play in this final game? Yeah. It seems like you guys are really close, like a family already. Yeah, definitely. Coming in and uh, being the little ones of the group, you definitely have no choice but to be close. But, you know, talented girls, been around them, especially throughout the tournament, got to know a little bit of the character, and they're definitely fun to be around.